Hello, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel. We're doing your next 48. This is episode 14 and 15 for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. If you have questions about getting a personal reading, you know what to do. Check that description box. What you see is what you get. All right, so let's see. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. What are the messages, please, and thank you? All right. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. Okay, we have okay, we have two cards coming out in a couple. So I'm getting you are in a couple. Okay, you're doing something as a couple because we have the it was an it's an almond for me. So I'm getting you are a couple. It could be somebody new, but this is your energy, Scorpio, the Nine of Cups. All right. So I'm getting you're flat out asking somebody to be in a relationship with you. Can we be in a relationship? Or you're apologizing? To a Taurus, possibly we have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting you're apologizing here for being shifty, or the relationship is about to shift. All of a sudden, something is about to turn around. Now, this could be Uranus and Uranus going retrograde. Now, that could that can definitely be creating a shift in your relationship. Yeah, we have the Page of Wands. I'm getting somebody's going to apologize publicly, or someone's going to apologize via post or via song, but I'm getting somebody is posting something about you. It's definitely about you. Okay, yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles and then we have the Four of Cups. Okay, so I'm getting like somebody is posting something about you relationship-wise. I'm getting, it could be a quote, it could be a poem, it could be a song, but I'm getting somebody is not aware that it's for them with the Four of Cups. Somebody's not aware that you're doing this to get their attention. It could be a Taurus. Okay, so we have a Taurus showing up here first. What is it? What is it? A Hierophant? But I'm getting respect, rules, regulations. I'm getting you respect someone. You're like, look, I respect you. I love you. All right, because I'm, I'm getting you're telling some, you're showing someone, someone how much you respect them. All right. What, what is the Hierophant? What is the Hierophant, please? Yeah, we have the Four of Swords. Interesting. So this is someone that you're not in a relationship anymore. I'm getting you guys, you guys are taking a break. Okay, or I'm, I'm getting like somebody is sleeping on you or somebody is very lazy. So maybe you feel like somebody's very lazy in the relationship. Somebody does not do anything. Somebody does not handle their, res somebody's irresponsible is what I'm feeling. You feel like somebody's irresponsible. You could be telling them this, like, yeah, you're irresponsible just to let you know, or you don't respect me. I'm also getting to your, it's like somebody is apologizing for waking somebody up. What is the Four of Swords in the, the Hierophant? Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Because it's almost like somebody wakes you up out of your sleep to make you happy. I'm also getting two breakfast in bed. Or somebody is waking you up in a... <laughs> I'm getting like somebody is waking you up. It's like I'm getting like you're waking up to pleasure here. <laughs> this is the way that somebody wakes you up. Like somebody just wants to touch you or explore your body. All right, because if you're dealing with a Taurus, yeah, Taurus rules touch. Taurus rules the five senses. Taurus rules appreciation. Taurus rules respect. Taurus rules time spent. So I'm getting like somebody wakes you up and somebody wants to spend time with you or somebody wakes you up with like sweet kisses or somebody wakes you up touching you. I'm getting the way that somebody wakes you up and makes you very happy or, you know, it's a happy ending page of cups. You're like, you're like, wow, thank you. That was amazing. All right. We have the full car. Yes. Yeah, something new. Yeah. So I'm getting somebody's doing something new. I'm so, Somebody could be waking you up with like breakfast in bed or head in the bed or I, I don't know something but I'm getting it something that you're not used to all right what's the will of fortune yeah we have the hermit interesting okay I'm also getting to a lot of music being played I'm getting I'm getting an album an album is on repeat and I'm getting like Scorpio just you're just kind of sitting here thinking or you're sitting here laying in bed listening to music over and over and over and over again. I'm getting it's a new album. I'm getting it's an album that you just downloaded or that you just heard for the first time and you love it. You can't stop listening to it. It's on repeat. It could be the same song, song or the entire album. But what is the full card? Because I'm almost getting music as an music is influencing you to leave a situation, or music is influencing you to take music is influencing you to take a, a leap of faith. Yeah, I'm getting when I'm getting when you listen to certain music or certain songs, it kind of makes you feel more ambitious or more free or more liberated or more froggy. Yeah, so you could be listening to music that kind of gets you up out of your bed. Yeah, because I'm I'm getting like you're sleeping in. I'm getting like you're sleeping in very late. 
or like you're just being very lazy i'm getting your you could be in the bed with your significant other here and i'm getting like the music the music somebody turns on the music you guys just kind of get up and like the day is getting ready but i'm getting i'm getting like as the day goes on you kind of go back into your shell scorpio yeah, so I'm getting somebody needs constant, somebody needs constant validations or somebody constantly needs you to, uh, somebody constantly needs you to not influence them, but uh, encourage them or motivate them. Because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting you're dealing with somebody who's lazy unless they hear music or unless you motivate them. You have to get somebody out of bed or you have to wake somebody up from their sleep because somebody sleeps all day or somebody sleeps in. Or, okay, what is this? What is the full card? Cause I'm, I'm kind of getting you want to go somewhere you want to do something but they don't want to scorpio somebody just wants to kind of stay in and stay asleep i'm getting it's like you're dealing with someone who's very lazy okay yeah we have the yeah someone who yeah because i'm getting you want to do something because these two cards represents baby boss to me taking a risk a pioneer the aries okay the self-starter the mover and the shaker the go-getter yeah the mars energy i'm getting you want to do something exciting something fun but this person i'm getting like somebody just doesn't want to do anything like somebody is very slow all right i'm getting i'm getting like i'm getting i'm getting you're dealing with um, this person does not strike me as like a go-getter okay what's the hierophant and i'm getting you are you're a go-getter you want to you want to get shit done you want to do things you want to have, I'm getting, you want to be an entrepreneur. You just want to do something. You want to go outside, maybe go on vacation. Maybe, I don't know, you want some sunlight. You just want to be outside. And I'm getting like somebody keeps you hidden or someone is trying to hide you or someone is, in, someone is in a, um, somebody is dangerously introverted or somebody's dangerously reclusive. Yeah, what's the, yeah, because I'm getting like, I'm getting like first somebody was very exciting and fun, but now somebody is boring and kind of cold. Okay, let's see. What is the what is the uh what is the hermit? Yeah, the knight of swords. And then we have the five of pentacles. Yeah, all of a sudden some it's like all of a sudden somebody does not want to do anything. It's almost like somebody it's like it's like you guys go to do something and then this person's like, "No, I don't want to do. I'm going to you're dealing with a Taurus." It's like somebody somebody's on their own time. Somebody moves when they want to move. But I'm getting somebody moves very slow. So because I'm getting like you could be very active. Or you could be very aggressive, very brass. But I'm getting like you're very enthusiastic. You're very excited. I'm getting you want to do something now. I'm getting you feel bored. Like, but I'm getting you're dealing with like if you're dealing with a Taurus, yeah, they're this person, they move when they want to. We have the death card. Okay, what's yeah, because I'm getting you're dealing with someone who's not active, someone who's not a go-getter, someone who's not motivated, someone who's not a mover, not a shaker, someone who someone who does not like to do anything. Okay, you're you're you know, you're dealing with a Taurus energy, someone who's just content with doing nothing. Okay, I'm getting like somebody's okay with just sitting there looking out the window all day, and that's fine with them. And you're like, really? Okay, what's the what's the what's the knight of swords and the five of pentacles? What's the Nine of Swords and the Five of Pentacles? Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm getting you're in a relationship with someone who bores you. Someone who's not active. Yeah, the Death card. Yeah, somebody just kind of, I'm getting like somebody kind of just kills your joy or kills your shine or somebody kills your enthusiasm. Yeah, but I'm getting like somebody changed, somebody shifted. Somebody was fun at first, but now they're not. Now they're boring. All right, what's the Death card? What's the death card? I'm also getting too, like somebody's getting their hair done or getting their hair cut. So I'm getting you've been like looking like a ragger muffin or someone's been someone's been looking like a, looking like a ragger muffin for like the last five weeks or <clears throat> excuse me, like the last five days you've been kind of raggedy. Maybe your hair's a little bit raggedy or, or, or it's unkept or it's undone. I'm getting you're getting your hair done or maybe you want someone to get their hair done. Maybe some maybe somebody is looking like they're homeless. You're like, man, get your hair done. Get your, you know, iron your clothes or, you know, fix yourself up or fix take more pride in your appearance. I'm getting like somebody just doesn't care about that shit. All right. This could be you or someone you're dealing with. Maybe you want you maybe you want somebody to take more pride in their appearance or just have more lust for life. Okay, what is the Ten of Cups though? What is the Ten of Cups? Yeah, the word. Yeah, I'm getting like I'm getting like you were happy with this person, Scorpio, but now like 
I'm, I'm getting like you're seeing somebody's true colors. I'm getting somebody does not take care of themselves. Somebody is not excitable. Somebody does not have any lust for life. I'm getting somebody, somebody is opposed to being happy or somebody impedes your happiness. I'm getting somebody's cold, somebody's stoic, somebody's slow. I'm getting too, like you do not like the way somebody dresses or the way, the way that somebody carries themselves. Yeah, I'm getting like, I'm getting like you, you kind of didn't know what you were getting yourself into or something like that. Because I'm getting like you're about to ghost someone because your needs are not being met or I don't know. Somebody just doesn't do it for you is what I'm seeing. Okay, what's the page of wands, ten of pentacles, four of cups? It's like somebody just, someone is just depressed or someone just doesn't have any. Yeah, we have the six of swords. Yeah, it looks like you're moving on. I'm getting you're going to move on or relocate or go back home. So you could be visiting a friend or visiting family. And it's just like, wow, you guys are boring as shit. Yeah, the three of swords. Yeah, so I'm getting if something was established here, I'm getting you were looking forward to an established relationship with this person. But I'm getting it's just not going to work that way with this person. I'm getting you are really disappointed. I'm getting this person has you missing somebody in your past that you've been separated from. Yeah, so I'm getting whatever this is. This is gonna this is gonna break down. There's gonna be a breakdown in communication. I'm getting you're just gonna tell someone that, like, look, I'm not interested anymore. This is boring. I'm I don't think this is gonna work. I don't, I don't think I want this anymore. I don't feel like we I don't feel like we want the same things. Yeah, I'm getting you're gonna have to just break somebody's heart and tell somebody like it is. I'm getting you're just gonna move on. What's the six of swords? What is the six of swords, please? Yeah, the king of pentacles. You could be going towards an earth sign. Or you're moving, you're, I'm getting you're moving away from an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Yeah, someone who's just, I'm getting too, it's like somebody does not have, somebody does not have as much money as you thought they had. Or maybe you thought somebody was going to share, but I'm getting somebody who's not generous either with their money. Okay, what's the three of swords, ten of pentacles, please? Yeah, the hangman. It came out inverted, but I'm going to leave it that way. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody's going to leave you. Yeah, we have the five of cups. Yeah, I'm getting someone's going to leave you hanging or you have to leave somebody hanging here. But I'm also, I'm, I'm getting to, I'm getting your, I'm getting you were in a, I'm getting you were in an established relationship, but I'm getting you left this to be with this person and it's not what you thought it was going to be. I'm getting now you're missing that person. You realize that you had something good and you let it go. You, you. You let it go to be with somebody else. Or I'm getting your missing home. Okay, what's the five of cups? What is the five of cups? Because I'm getting I'm getting you moved away from someone that that was solid, a solid connection, somebody who was very generous towards you, somebody who had the bag, somebody who somebody who cared for you, somebody who took care of you. But I'm getting now you're with someone who's totally different. It could be another earth sign, but I'm getting if it's towards somebody's lazy. Somebody does not. I'm getting to like somebody's very content, very complacent. But I'm getting like somebody thought the grass was greener and I'm getting something is about to shift. Okay, what's the five of cups? I'm, but I'm getting, you're, I'm getting you're going back. You're going back to something. You're going back towards your family. You're going back home. Or you're going back to something that was, you're going back to something that was more established. Yeah, because I'm getting you're having an epiphany. You're realizing that that you wanted to be here. Okay, what is the five of cups in the hangman? Five of cups in the hangman, please. Yeah, the, the nine of pentacles. Yeah, this whoever this Taurus is. Yeah, but I'm getting like somebody is nonchalant. I'm getting like somebody, somebody left you hanging or somebody's going to leave you hanging. I'm getting you guys are just on two different pages here. I mean, I'm getting... I'm getting Taurus is your opposite sign. I mean, opposites do attract, but they also repel. I'm just getting somebody is just too slow for you. What's the Four of Cups? What's the Four of Cups, please? We have several cards coming out. Let's let's use them all. Yeah, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Sun card, and then we have the the Judgment. Yeah. But I'm also getting to the person that you that you betray or the person that you separated from. They may not be interested in, in they they may not, they may no longer have interest in dating you again or giving you a second chance. Because I'm I'm getting like somebody's going back home, or somebody's if you relocated, I'm getting you're moving back. It's not what you thought. 
or I'm getting you left someone to be with, be with somebody else and that it's not going the way that you hoped at all. I'm getting it's a major letdown, a major disappointment. Yeah, we have the two of cups and the king of swords. Yeah, so I'm getting like somebody could be making up with you because they're jealous or something is just not working out. I'm getting you could be telling this person like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going back home. I'm going back to make up with my friend or I'm going to do like, I don't know. But somebody could be doing this out of jealousy or envy. Because I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of getting like somebody is being complacent because they know you don't love them or they know that you're still stuck on your ex maybe or something like that. Because I'm, I'm kind of getting some I'm getting like somebody's doing some, something to be petty. All right, let's, let's pull some ancient cards for you, Scorpio. Ancient Oracle cards. Let's see. So, so I'm getting you could be with someone right now, but you know that person is still stuck on their ex. So I'm, I'm kind of getting you could be doing something to be petty or being cold because it's almost like you want this, you want someone to be, you want this person to be in love with you right now. You want them to get over their ex like immediately and they're not over their ex yet. And it's almost like it, it, I'm, I'm getting it kind of pisses you off. Because it's like somebody is very nonchalant when it comes to you or something like that. Let's let's see. Yeah, we have we have psychometry, sensitivity. Yeah, somebody is very sensitive. Okay, I'm getting like somebody's still getting over a breakup, or if this is you, you're still getting over your ex, you're still getting over a breakup, but I'm getting like somebody is trying to open you up, or it's it's almost like somebody knows that you're still stuck on somebody else. Let's pull some love cards for you. Let's see. Yeah, we have attraction. I mean, somebody does think that you're attractive, though. Yeah, we have free yourself, and then we have retreat. Yeah. But I'm, I'm getting you're going to leave this relationship because I'm getting somebody is not sensitive to your needs or to your wants. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody does not take care of themselves either. Someone, someone does not take care of their appearance the way that you, yeah, I'm getting like, I'm getting you're not attracted to this person or you feel like this person's not attracted to you, but I'm getting it has a lot to do with like the way that somebody carries themselves. Somebody does not take pride in their, their appearance. Yeah. Get it, getting to know each other. And then we have new love. Yeah. So I'm getting it. Somebody new. I'm getting like. I'm getting there's chemistry, but I'm getting, I'm getting, there's a lot circled around the way that somebody looks. I'm getting like, I'm getting maybe your ex was prettier or more handsome, or you feel like you're more attractive than this person. So you don't want to date them or something like that. There is something that's very touchy. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.